All right, Ethan. Uh, I guess welcome to UCF. I know you've been Thank here you. a few months now. Uh, just how's this transition been? I mean, you're an experienced guy coming from Vanderbilt, joining a new team though. How, how's the transition been so far? It's been pretty smooth. I got here uh, on a, a Friday and kind of got to work right away. And the team, the team welcomed me with open arms. It's been, it's been great ever since. We got to work right away. And uh, I mean, trans transition has been smooth. You know, I've been doing this for a while now, so uh, there's nothing new. It's just kind of picking up the, the new differences that different, team, different teams do, our organization does, and uh, running with it. So it's been good. Ethan, when you when you arrive at a, you've arrived at a new school, I mean, how hard is it to kind of make get acclimated? How quickly do you get acclimated to your teammates? And then you have a little bit of familiarity, obviously, with Coach Roof. So how does that maybe help this transition to maybe be a little smoother? Yeah, the acclimation, just getting to know new people is always it always just takes time to create relationships with new guys. I, I had I had met some guys on the team prior to this. Uh, I met Big Lee on my visit, uh, Ricky on my visit, and some of the other guys. I knew Trent Whitmore from before. Uh, I met him uh, at a SEC uh, at a meeting somewhere else. So um, that was good. I, I was some familiar faces that I uh, had I was able to connect with, um, and and just going through the work, it, it's very easy to you know create trust with people. Um, get to know people just because we're all going through the same things, going through adverse situations, um, and so you you get to build that trust very quickly. And then with Coach Roof, it's been really good. Obviously, he was my coach my freshman year, um, so getting back with him was a it was a pleasant surprise. Um, you know, after I committed here, uh, Coach told me that you know he was coming here. Coach Manzan told me that he was coming here, so uh, it was just a, a great a great coincidence. And uh, I mean, it, it kind of made me feel like this is where I was supposed to be at the end of the day. It's a full circle moment for me, so. Uh, it, it kind of made the transition and everything very smooth, yeah. Even when you're arriving here, what is, you got a little bit of familiar elements, a little bit of new elements here like you were talking about. What is it that jumps off the page about this offense for you as you can practice? Yeah, I think uh, the first thing is just the, the tempo and and uh, just the way they operate is just very, very fast. So you, you're getting used to some of that uh, day in and day out of practice has been been very good. Um, this, team, this this offense is obviously very powerful, so it's been good been good to see that from our offense. In terms of the defense, uh, I mean, I, I really like the things, some of the things that we do. Um, we we kind of have some some good different looks that we give to the offense, so we make you know make, stress them in different ways. So that's been good. It's been great competition all throughout spring. So. Um, and Sorry. overall, it's been been really good. Sorry about that. You mentioned powerful, Ethan. Like, are we talking about like is this group strong? Is it powerful since they line up? What group, like? Get I, I would say explosive. Okay. I, they have, they, you know, they got guys that you know can throw the ball, complete the ball, and catch the ball on field. So they, they have a lot of the potential to be very explosive uh, in both the pass game and the run game. So um, it's just been cool to see that go against that. And, and then when you stop it, you like you you know that we're doing something right. So. You know, it comes down to us you know, as a defense doing what we got to do to stop our offense. But at the end of the day, we're just making each other better. Better. So, a lot of you guys in the linebacker room are new. You know, we've been uh, veteran leaders out of the program. Do you think that's helped you guys really bond as a unit, knowing that you have come from similar circumstances? Yeah, definitely. Like right away, uh, me and Josiah bonded right away just because uh, we had played with a, a, a former player. Uh, both of us have played with the same guy, so we were able to talk about that. And, you know, create a relationship with some of the guys that we knew on uh, teams that we had been at before. So that was really good. And obviously, we were able to speak about football in a, in a way that would help us both grow because we both know the game pretty well. And, and DP, um, you know, he's a very skilled player. So it's been really good, good to play next to him um, and, and kind of help, help each other along the way and be able to talk and, you know, figure out different ways that we can do things uh, to make our defense better while we're both out there. So. Um, yeah, it's been really good. It's been really good to have that that, uh, that older group of leadership that came in, and, and I think I think that um, everyone that came in is doing a really good job. And Justin, we're having, we have a really tight knit group. I would say the linebacker. We have a good time out on the field in the meeting room as well. So, Ethan, what would you say? Uh, what do you foresee your role being on this defense and in this linebacker room? Is middle linebacker is that kind of where your niche is going to be, and, and what are you going to think you're going to provide to the team this year? Yeah, I think linebacker is where I'll be. That's where I played um, my whole time in college and in high school as well. So, um, yeah, middle linebacker is where I'll be. I see my role being a leader of the defense, a guy that communicates to the rest of the guys, help, help get people lined up, just communicating about you know what we can do better uh, while we're off the field. And then just, yeah, like I said, getting everyone else lined up. So um, I think that's kind of what I was brought in for too. So uh, I, I hope to fulfill that as we keep moving forward. And I hope I've been doing that pretty well ever since. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Today we had all three groups had an interception right back to back to back. So uh, there, there's some uh, playmakers out on the field on defense as well. I think 
I mean, I don't know if there's any position that lacks playmaking ability. Uh, when the ball is in, in the air for them to go get it, the guys on the defense go get it, and, and that's kind of shown day, uh, day in and day out throughout camp. I think we've had a pick like, at least a couple every day, so it's been good. Now, Andrew, I'd ask about the offense. So, like, the defensive side, obviously, here in the Big 12, there's a lot of big backs, a lot of guys that are, are going to attack that line of scrimmage. Um, uh, a, a point of focus for this defense in the offseason is to improve stopping the run. Obviously, you're going to be a big part of that. What have you guys been working on as a group that you can kind of share here to help you with? Yeah, we've, we've really been just working on, on, like, the structure of our defense and run fits. Because um, if one guy's off, I mean, you're all, you're all screwed. The running back's going to find that hole. They're going to be out. So it's about building the, building the walls, what we kind of talk about. Um, and, and that's been showing up, I, I think, often uh, in practice. And I think we've been doing a really good job adjusting to some of the new run fits that we've been given uh, to, to accomplish. So, Ethan, did you, did you play against KJ at one point? I, mean, I never got to play against KJ. Yeah, we never played him. So, uh, yeah, now, now it's, it's been good to finally get to go against him. I know about him. I have some buddies that play with him. You know, so, uh, yeah, it's, I haven't been playing you got a correct me if I'm wrong. You have a dog that has a really a social media account. Yeah, yeah. How how popular is, is that social media account, and <laughs> when did that kind of get started, and how much fun is that to kind of have that? Yeah, so uh, I got him around December, actually, right after I came on my visit here, um, and so we we started it right right when we got him, just to kind of show my dog's life. <laughs> and then whenever we, we were on, was kind of walking around, my sister was here for spring break. We were showing her around campus. She wanted to see the bounce house. So we had our dog with us. We went to show, uh, show my, my sister and we're like, let's just take a picture of my dog. And I was like, let's just collab with UCF. And UCF accepted and he's, he's got like 2,000 likes on that, that picture. So he's kind of blowing up a little bit. Uh, he may be feeling it, feeling it too much because he's been, he's been a bad dog recently. But uh, no, nah, he's, he's good. What's the dog, I'm sorry, what's the dog's name? His name is Poe. Oh, okay. Yeah, Poe like the panda from Kung Fu Panda. Ethan, I, I know you're coming from a place where, you know, I, I know it's an excellent academic school, but maybe not as much winning as maybe you would have liked on the football field. Is that something you're looking forward to accomplishing in your final year of college football as being part of a winning program and what do you want to accomplish? Yeah, I mean, the, the reason I came here was to win. Uh, win and win, win big. I mean, I think that's quick. I was on what he's been saying this whole time. This is win, win championships. and. Um, that, that's ultimately what I what I came here to do. I mean, I think any competitor does, doesn't like losing. Uh, it's not that's not the reason that we do it. We can't we, we play to win, and, and that's why that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm uh, so committed to helping this team do that. You know, the first scrimmage coming up on Saturday. What are you looking for on the defense? Um, I think just execution. At the end of the day, that's all you can really ask. Just playing hard, execution, and communicating whenever we, we see something different on the field. Um, that's ultimately going to set us up to you know just have a good performance on Saturday. Um, yeah, I think I think making corrections from today and this past week, uh, and putting together a whole game plan as we move the ball on the field that that would be really big and kind of give us a, a stepping stone for the next scrimmage uh, next week. Are you excited for it? Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's gonna be good to be able to go go full speed. You know, have uh, take guys to the ground and you know see what see what everyone's really about. So. You get it comfortable with it? Whoa. We, we haven't used it quite yet on the defense. Uh, we, we kind of do it in the old school way like we've been doing it before. So uh, we, hadn't, we hadn't gotten to that yet. So we'll see if we end up uh, utilizing that as an advantage for us uh, coming for, moving forward. But um, it, it is something very interesting that would be cool to use. When I first heard about it, I, I had no idea. And I was like, wow, this is going to be cool. Because I knew that I knew NFL guys had to use it. But um, if we end up using it, it would be a cool advantage for us. And Again, being in the line, like you're communicating a lot with the, the, uh, the front guys and then the back end. How do you really develop that? Obviously, people have been here since January. So. Yeah, I think. Uh we're all learning at the same time with uh, Coach Roof. I mean, everything's new to everybody, so it's been it's been good to bring some of my prior knowledge of the game, and then just kind of able to tra transition the the way the verbiage that we use. And it, it's been pretty smooth, honestly. So uh, it's kind of just through my my previous experiences that really helped me so far this spring, um, and it's really showed up. And I mean, it's, every play you gotta you gotta do that. So it's been good. You're still the like, least Texas Texas person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either the, the, the real quick, you were talking about the helmet communication? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you guys talked about how that would work on defense. I mean, a lot of times, like a middle linebacker, I mean, I don't know if that would be your... It would your, be me, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we uh, we kind of had planned to use, start using it this week, but um, we, we didn't, we, so we didn't start using it. But we, who knows, we might start yeah. utilizing it moving forward. Well, but, would you uh, be the main guy live I, with the... I probably would be the guy using yeah. it, or the me and the mics, Okay. Uh, whoever else would be in at the time. But um, yeah, it, it probably would come from me. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think that'll that'll be like? I mean, that'll be. I think it'd be cool. It'll be 
interesting because I, I, I it's going to be different seeing the call versus hearing it. So yeah. I'm kind of interested to see how that would play out. Um, if it would be more helpful or just kind of throw me off. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to like think while I got something in my ear. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of excited to get to use it and see just what, what it really entails. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know you're not, you haven't gone head to head yet with the offense, you know, in a scrimmage format until obviously next week or not on Saturday. And I don't think KJ Jefferson will probably be live. I mean, we'll, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Maybe, I, I don't know. know if you'll get the opportunity to attack. <laughs> I don't know. But what, what's your perspective of, of KJ and just what kind of what kind of challenge is he going to be for, you know, obviously yeah. your, your defense this spring, but more importantly, imposing defenses this season? Yeah, no, KJ's a really good player. Obviously, like, he's got a big arm and he has the ability to, uh, to run. And, and he's fast, but he's also very strong in the run game. So I think it, it'll, be, it'll be a challenge for opposing teams and ourselves as we go live with him just to be able to defend uh, both. And maybe we got to keep him contained, so we got to make sure we keep him contained, but also uh, once he's out, getting him down. So um, it, it'll be a challenge. Uh, you know, he's a unique player. He's, he's one of the bigger quarterbacks just in yeah. terms of like size. He's, he's taller, so um, I think he has an advantage himself. Uh, against the teams that we'll face in the fall. So, who's, who's impressed you maybe on this UCF team? Offense, defense, anyone early on that's kind of catching your eye that's having a good spring? Yeah, I think uh, a young guy on the offense that's kind of surprised me has been Burdell. Yeah. He's been, he's been a good player so far. He's made some really good catches. On the defense, uh, Chasen has really stood out. The, the young guys, they're, yeah. they're good players, so it's been cool to see them have some success. CP as well. Um, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the safety, yeah. So he's been doing really well. Um, I, I think I, a lot of times in one-on-ones and stuff like that, I go against RJ, so it's been good okay. to go against him. I know he's obviously a re really well, all-rounded, well-rounded back. So, um, you know, he's been someone that I've become to yeah. respect uh, over the time that I've been going against him in practice. So. Yeah, and you you played at Florida, I imagine, yeah, right? Yeah, I did, you know, twice. Same, same division and stuff, so you've yeah. been there. So what do you... Are you looking forward to that match? I know yeah. a lot of the guys on the team are. They've never yeah. had the opportunity to play Florida. So. No, I'm so excited. Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to win there yet. We, we beat them at home one time, but I yeah, haven't got an opportunity to play there or win there yet. So I'm excited to get back down there this fall and uh, you know get that opportunity yeah. again. So. Excited for the schedule? You're a Texas yeah, guy. No, I'm so excited. The big yeah. 12 openers at TCU. Yeah, right? yep. So. Yeah. so and one of my, my really good buddy, he's a my roommate from Vandy. Actually, he's a he's a quarterback there at TCU. So it'd be cool to play him again. And um, a bunch of my family will be there. A bunch of our friends from our mutual friends will be coming down to the game to see us both play each other. So it'd be really it'd be a really great opportunity. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Thanks. Make sure, make sure we're, our structure is good. We're, we're, we're all doing the right thing. And, uh, I think, I think the, the top thing, the top part of that is communication. Uh, so I, I think that's a, that's a big thing. Uh, and that's that's the, what we gotta have to stop running. Just communication, make sure everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's on the same page. Something else too that was that was kind of a challenge for this defense last year as they moved up uh, into the Big 12 was not accounting for more athletic tight ends and things like that in the past game. Um, what element of pass coverage? I mean, obviously that's going to be part of your thing watching that tight end. What um, what elements of that do you feel like you could share like some experience with that or have you learned lessons in the short time you hear about that? What part of that um, opportunity or uh, development is taking place here in spring? Yeah, so I mean we've been working on man coverage, zone coverage, everything. Everything in terms of uh, the coverage aspect of the game. Uh, so I think overall we've we've all been getting getting better at that part of the game, getting more developed. Uh, I think I think for my past, uh, I mean I, I used to play on the opposite side of the ball, I used to play quarterback, so I can kind of see like looking at KJ in zone coverage, I can kind of see like make where he's gonna like think about throw the ball, where he's gonna you know uh, look like make me make, make us all move off our spot, so. Um, uh, I, I feel like I can also feel routes pretty well as well in zone coverage. So um, those are just kind of some aspects of in my past game that I think I can bring this table and that that we've been working on throughout this spring. Well, it's interesting too because KJ is an experienced guy, you know, and you're kind of reading him. There's going to be some guys you run into in the Big 12 that are newer at starting. I think, uh, for example, Kansas State guy, you know, got his uh, a start in the bowl game, and they're going to be using him into the next year. Does that give you kind of advantage if you're facing a younger quarterback like that? Yeah, I, th I mean. I guess it just depends, honestly. Like, it, it depends from quarterback to quarterback. But yeah, at times I think uh, younger guys uh, maybe maybe aren't as developed in, in that area of showing off, uh, showing off defenders and you know showing off where they're gonna throw the ball. So uh, I guess in some ways, yeah, that could that could be very beneficial and an advantage for us.
what's the biggest improvement you'd like to see happen for yourself here in the spring ball here? Yeah, I think just make more plays. Uh, be, be, be more than just a, just a one gap player. I think uh, be able to uh, not only do my, like, be able to do my job and then get the ball and make plays and, and wreak havoc and, and cause plays that uh, get the offense the ball back, whether it be interceptions or you know, punching the ball out. That's a big emphasis that we've been trying to uh, push on the defense side of the ball is punch out the ball, get the ball out. Um, and we've been doing a really good job at, at getting interceptions. So, um, that, that's a big part of the game that I want to I wanna take the take next step in as well, is just tackling, okay, tackling, making sure I'm tracking. Uh, tracking the guy and trusting my own speed to, 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 make, to make the plays. In front of the so. how, how challenging is it? Um, you know, you're, you're a transfer, you come in as a new guy to begin with this program, and then you look around in the linebacker room and you've got a lot of transfers off the floor. How important is that chemistry, building that chemistry amongst you guys? As you, do? you guys really in a way, a lot of you really are new to the program. Into this yeah, it's very important. I think every position group needs to have chemistry and, and know that. Um, you know, new guys come in, but it's all about competition at the end of the day, and competition's a good thing. It's gonna make everyone better at the end of the day, I think. Whether it be an old guy, new guy, everyone has their own experiences that they're able to bring and share with each other. So um, that, that's what's been really been, been beneficial for me, and I think everybody else in the group is just, everyone's kind of playing a different type of defense and knows different types of ways, of, uh, different schemes, and they're all taught something different, so able to maybe communicate that in a different way. It's something that I've been trying to do some, to some guys if they ever need some extra explanation. And being, being that guy who, has had a lot of experience and share some with some of the young guys that, that maybe need my help or, or whatever. So um, it's been good. We've been able to really bond uh, throughout the spring. We built any through the spring ball so far. Like we have, like I said, we had a really good we have a really good time in the meeting rooms on the field. I think we really trust each other and we're, we're getting each other better every day. So. Do you guys do stuff off the field? I mean, do you guys do group activities yeah. together? Yeah. So TJ Bullard is actually my next door neighbor okay. in the apartment. So I <laughs> hang out with him a little bit. Uh, and then we hang out, I hang out with X quite a bit. Yeah. And, you know, I, but I talk to DP, to Josiah, to all the other guys a whole lot. So, what have you noticed from those guys, the other guys in that linebacker group? What What are some of the guys that maybe stood out, or you were like looking forward to seeing them get out there? Yeah, I mean, well, something that's no that stuck out to me is everybody's just wanting to work. Everyone's willing to work. Um, I get another guy that mentioned that I've gotten really close to his camp by, and that dude, I mean, that dude's working right along with me every single day. Like, he's, he's, a, he's a real good player, real good guy, so. Um, but yeah, I think, like, everyone's willing to work. Everyone has their own different uh, strengths and weaknesses, but the strengths are strong. A lot of people have really strong strengths. Like, DP's a very heavy player. He can uh, make things happen. He, he, he knows when to show somewhere else to, you know, divert his attention, divert the opposite attention where he's coming somewhere else. So, uh, you know, I think, I think that type of, just different skill sets coming all together is going to be really helpful for this group. You obviously played in the SEC, so it's not like you haven't played in the Big Twelve. Yeah. So going to the Big Twelve, did you you had some familiarity? I'm sure. You, is there something about playing it? You know, it's not like you're going to be intimidated at all when you're going out there. Is there something about maybe the Big Twelve that you're eager to look at or see? Or yeah, I think. Well, I think everybody talks about how the Big Twelve is more. They play out out in the perimeter more. It's not like ground and pound a lot like the SEC is. So I'm interested to kind of see how that plays out. Um, but it's not it's not like it's not like it's something I hadn't seen before. I play a lot of teams like Ole Miss and I mean who you name it. And there's a lot of teams that do that fast tempo thing like a lot of the Big 12 teams do. So it won't be new, but it'll be interesting to see that across the board. In the Big 12. You played Florida. Probably. Yeah, I sure. played Florida as well. Yes. So does it is it is there any? Thing you can help by when you, you got yeah to yeah no I'm excited to play Florida <laughs> uh, I'm excited to get back in the swamp and do it it'll be kind of weird getting back there with a different team but I'm, I'm really excited about that and I, I think every time you play someone that you've played before there's always little things that you can pick up on whether it be just individual uh, like cues that the person does or the, the, the schematics um, there's always something that carries carries over from the, the year before so that'd be cool to play them again. Cheers.